What are transformers? In this video, we'll try to get a basic understanding of transformers. Transformers are a new family of neural network architecture. They were introduced back in 2017 in a paper entitled Attention is all you need by Vasvani et al. And they have since gained widespread use. Originally, they were proposed for sequence modeling, specifically machine translation. But lately, they are being used in many other applications, such as biological sequence analysis, robot gestures generation, and they were even trained to play chess and to detect malicious denial-of-service attacks. Now, you're probably wondering, what is an attention? So, before we dive into the architecture, let's take a second to see what it is. If we're translating from English to French, attention involves answering the following question. What part of the input should I focus on? The mechanism involves learning to weight the relationship between each item in the input sequence and the items in the output sequence. Self-attention is the attention with respect to oneself. In this case, the question we want to answer is how relevant is the ith word in the sentence relevant to other words in the same sentence? For every word, we have an attention vector generated which captures contextual relationships between words in the sentence. For instance, if we're saying the cat is sitting on the mat, we can capture the relationship between each and every word, as depicted in the matrix. Values in these matrices are initially randomized and then updated over time as the network trains. Multi-headed self-attention is when you do this several times. So, each head learns attention relationships independently. The transformer architecture is composed of an encoder and a decoder. The encoder takes in the input sequence and transforms it into embeddings or numeric representations of that input sequence. The decoder takes that embedding and creates the output sequence. The encoder and the decoder are made up of a number of multi-headed self-attention modules that are stacked on top of each other. The biggest benefits of transformers are they are much faster to train than classical recurrent neural networks. The attention mechanism ignores order. So, it is as easy to detect relationships between very distant items in the sequence as it is to detect relationships between items that are very close to each other. There are drawbacks, however. They require a lot of memory and compute to train, and they tend to be very large models. Even very small transformer models still have tens of millions of parameters. Because they are so large, running out of memory tends to be fairly common while training these models. They also require enormous amount of data for training. Thanks for joining today and I hope you found this video helpful.